Holy Land. Most skilled fighters. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the, about the manga. The epic. The legendary manga. Holy Land. And if you've never checked it out, I've done a couple videos on it. My first impression video, I believe, the first volume. And I've done an overview of this epic, phenomenal, legendary manga that is Holy Land. It is a seinen manga. And especially if you're a fan of seinen manga, you need to check it out. Now, with that being said, top fighters in this series. For those who don't know, Holy Land, it's a it centers around street fighting, but it's so much more, and it's not street fighting like you've ever seen. So, like I said, go check out my reviews, go check out the manga. In this, I will break down the actually the top five and why and why they're in that order. Starting in that number five. We got the dude who pretty much is the dark prince of those night streets. Who is feared throughout. Who is shady, boy. He ain't, he ain't on the evil side. He ain't villainous, but it's shady. You know, he goes from friend to rival, antagonist. He does it all. Who am I talking about? Midorioka. Midorikawa, however you want to say it, Midorikawa Shogo, aka Shogo Kun, okay, Shogo, the arguable master of karate or street of dark karate. His 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 style really is dark karate, you know, dark karate. And Shogo, man, this dude, he's a monster. He just is a monster. By the end of this series, this dude is a monster. This dude could go head to head for most of the series with Kamishiro Yu. Until, you know, the very end. He walked, he stomped on one of the bad boys who came with King. You know, at the at the end, you know, the last, pretty much the last, yeah, last arc. Um, Shogo, his techniques, like, He's probably not the most technical, but he's one of the most technical. He's one of the most pivotal in Kamishiro Yu's development. His, you know, his power, his speed. And the fact is, this guy is undersized. You know, this guy has a chip on his shoulder. He has something to prove. He has honor. He has, there's a lot about him. His techniques are, are, yeah. Technically, he's one of the best. Power-wise, he's one of the best. Um, Killer Instinct, oh yeah, he's up with the top dogs. So overall, Kamishiro, you get the fifth spot. Now, coming in at number four, we have, now hold on, hold on. Yeah, four, Taka. Now, Taka, man, I've done said this before, Taka should have got way more spotlight. Taka, you know, easily par, on par with Kamishiro, you, you know, Masaki, all the, all the top dogs. That, that's why he's up number up in number four. He he's on par. The thing is, we didn't really get to see enough of Taka to really gauge his, his power level. We know his skill level on point. It, it, it's top tier. You know, it's it's arguably skill wise, he's arguably the best of all those in Holy Land, all the fighters in the, on the night streets, right? His power wise, he's up there. You know, he's right up there. We don't know what he would be without his kendo, but it doesn't matter. Try to touch him. The only person we've seen even come close to touching him is Kamishiro Yu. So, that, I mean, you just have to respect it. This dude, it, I mean, his whole presence. And, I mean, you see his backstory, what he tried. I mean, he's the he's the one who got, um, what's his face? I forget his, Yo, Yoshi. Y'all know the, the, knife, the knife dude, the blade dude. The blade gang leader who, who got exposed. Um, he's the one who put him in power. Give him, you know, we don't see him without his, his kendo sword, um, after, you know, presently. But we saw how bad he got beat up. But, man, this dude, his defense, everything's on point, man. His defense, his offense, with that kendo, skill-wise, he's probably the best. So, he definitely deserves top five, number four spot. Number three, King. King, dog. This man, the only reason he ain't breaking to the top two, we didn't see that much from him. 
that that's the only part we only saw him one time but man you talk about a, a final villain you talk about a real villain a final boss this dude will fight to kill if he has to killer instinct this dude's martial art is unlike any we seen at that point it's pretty much the Japanese version of Kung Fu and I still say I could they all one of the very few criticisms I did have of Holy Land is that we did not see Chinese Kung Fu but it's Japan get it but he is pretty much Kung Fu but it, he wasn't a cheap fighter like um Kato but he was he was precision personified he wasn't he didn't look like a strong guy but he give off this killer vibe he will screw you I mean you see he will eyes out he don't care broken up we well, don't care he don't care he doesn't you know the only reason he's like I said he's not in the top two is not because he lost is because like talking we didn't see enough to gauge but easily top three easily easily skill wise up there with Taka right arguably you know maybe about a notch or so down um power he wasn't much of a power but his speed his speed was probably the best in actually the whole series his, his defense because he was so fast, yeah, his defense, his evasive maneuvers, he was there. Everything was there. So that that's where we had at number three. Coming in at number two, y'all should already know who it is. But if you don't, it is Aiza, it is Aizawa Masaki. Masaki, man. The charisma of the streets. Charisma of the streets. Need I say more? If you ain't ever read this manga, this dude here. Street boxing. And... He, his fighting IQ was off the Richter. The best fighting IQ of everybody. Of anybody. I mean, he, he was the first one who pretty much trained Kamishiro Yu. Aizawa, feared by everybody. He could take on, you know, numbers upon numbers. His only problem is his, you know, he was a skin dude kind of like myself. He could take hits, but he was a bit delicate. But boy... He didn't need to take his, his evasive, you know, his defensive skills up there. You know, offense, you know, arguably the best, you know, on par, easy. Kamishiro, you and the rest of these guys, easy. Fighting IQ, you know, he did what he, he only fought when he had to, but he didn't have to fight. His presence, you know, he, he was a king, you know. Most of these guys, king level, but uh, I'd say Taka and, and Shogo, princes. King, definitely King. Drug dealer King. He was a drug lord. King. First Street King that we see. Street King throughout most of the most of the manga. I mean, just just watch this man. This this man, even though he has his style of street boxing, you know, he, he took and he crafted, you know, he's the second most adaptable in this. Okay, in this manga series. And number one, y'all know who number one is. Not just because he's the main character, but it is Kamishiro Yu. You. Kamishiro Yu is the absolute truth. I've said it in a couple of videos that he's the ultimate street fighter. Forget the street fighter franchise. Screw all that. Kamishiro Yu is the absolute truth, bro. Like, for real. This dude, he starts off basics of boxing. Let's see. Boxing. He learns the kicks and powers of karate you know the power kicks he um i mean his techniques he's got the pull punch he's got you know swing around uh pull punch uh yeah there's that he has the pretty much the axe kick you know axe kick slash roundhouse kick he has shoot what are all the um he, he has a whole, I'm, I'm coming blank right now, but he has a whole arsenal of stuff that he learns. Like I said, he learns, you know, boxing, karate, wrestling moves. Oh, yeah, he's wrestling finisher. Um, What else, what else did he, he learned ways to, he was the only one we've seen, we saw in the series be able to defeat or at least be on par with Taka. I mean, this dude's lost, Diddy came back. He's he, the most feared. 
the gang, the thug hunter, the gang hunter. This dude took on large crowds. He did individuals. You were pretty much destined. You better be top tier. Cause if you weren't top tier, one punch, you done. Then there is no fight. This dude is bloody. I mean bloody. You know, his fist, his fighting became his life. Ultimate Street Fighter. These are the most skilled fighters of this series, the manga, Holy Land. Check it out if you haven't done. You don't expect it. Want to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me y'all thoughts. Tell me what y'all list is. Tell me who your favorite character is. All that jazz. And y'all, I'll see y'all later. Peace.